day two. Yeah, I'm wearing my respirator. I got goggles. I know a lot of people are mentioning that we needed to cover ourselves. So there you go, people. You don't have to worry about us now. Just the tip. Just the tip. Ooh, that don't look good. Sprite is in the trash can. There you go. Hey, good lesson learned. All right, guys, we are done. It took us three kits to do this. Is it 100% perfect? Absolutely not. I'm very happy the way it came out. Like I said, it's not 100% perfect, but uh, it's, it's definitely gonna be a lot better than the pink insulation. I did leave this wall over here untouched. This is like a four foot section. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm gonna do as far as all the hookups and stuff for the uh, washer and dryer. So I'm gonna leave that. I'll end up spray foaming that section a little bit later. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the plastic on all the windows, all the paper and stuff on the floor, and we're gonna see, was it worth it spending all that extra time taping everything up? So anyways, I'm gonna take it all off and then we'll check back in. All right, guys, it took about five minutes to clean up. I still need to go back in and scrape up stuff that's hanging over the edge of the two by fours and stuff. But as far as the floors and windows go, you can see everything's nice and clean. Check out these windows, guys. Boom. Nice and clean, nice and clean. The floor, there's a little bit of overspray here and there, but for the most part, it's all cleaned up. There's the bathroom. All the prep work was definitely 100% worth it. Here's the bedroom. 
All the windows look nice and clean. Floor looks really good. And then back over here in the living room, the dormer's looking good. All the windows up here in the front. Like I said, there are some spots over here that I still need to clean up, but for the most part, I just need to go back in and just scrape up on the outside of the two by fours. But I'm very, very pleased with it. Uh, I'll say this a million times, do the prep work beforehand. It will make your life so much easier. Shoot dang. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Is the shed house starting to cool down? I have the AC going over here. It's not the one that I wanted in here. I had a portable AC, but for some reason it's not cooling down. I have this little uh, wall unit over here that was in the shop. It's only 5,000 BTU, so it's not meant for a building this size. I think it says it's really meant for about 100 square foot to 150 square foot. Uh, this building is 450 square foot, so uh, I can already feel it is cooler in here. It could be colder if I had a bigger unit. Uh, that just sounded bad. Uh, but anyways, uh, the, the mini split system that I have is an 18,000 BTU, which is I think meant for uh, anywhere from like a 1,500 to 2,000 square foot house. So that'll easily be able to push this, cool it down and keep it warm in here. Uh, I don't know if you hear that or not, but I got my new pets over here shooting dang. These are those parakeets that Jason and Danielle found. Now, I did pick up a cage for them, which they're a lot happier. They're starting to chirp a lot more. I got this on Amazon, uh, about $150 total. But there they are right there, shooting dang, happy as can be. They got a little play set down there. They got a swing. They got a little, I guess, rope bridge. They got toys. They got food, water. Shoot dang. So I had some people say when they first found out we had these parakeets that they can't be below, I think, 60 degrees. I don't think that's going to be an issue inside here as far as uh, getting cold or uh, hot. Now that I'll have uh, AC, I'll have that mini split that'll do the heat as well. So... Uh, anyways, the parakeets are doing good. I just figured I'd show them real quick. Uh, I have a box fan over here back behind me just trying to push the air around. Uh, I know, once again, that that AC right here is not going to be able to push this entire house uh, as cold as I want it. But I did download an app. To give you an idea, it's about 92, 93 degrees outside. And here's what it's saying it is inside here. 80 degrees inside. I know that seems like it's not very cold, uh, but it is cooler than it is outside, which tells me this is working. Once I get the main mini split in here, like I said, it'll, it'll cool this place down fairly quickly and uh, heat it down pretty quickly. But in the meantime, I'm still gonna finish scraping all the foam and stuff off the outside of the two by fours and two by sixes. I also gotta come over here and paint this back door. I'm gonna do the doors black. You could probably see the front door over here. I already put a light coat on it. It's gonna have to be a couple of coats, if not, 10 or 12, who knows, as many as it needs. But uh, I'll go ahead and paint those, put the uh, hardware back on. I gotta replace these two sections of pink insulation up here. I don't know what happened, it just came off the, uh, the paper, so I just gotta replace that, which I have some outside. And then uh, I'll be doing a lot of burning today. I gotta burn all that paper and all that plastic and stuff that was on the, uh, the windows. I'm probably gonna get crap for saying I'm gonna burn plastic, but sue me. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much what my day's going to be. Just go ahead and clean up everything. Uh, the real test is going to be a little bit later at the peak of the, the day when it gets hot and just see how cool it is inside here. Uh, but once again, that's not the AC I'm going to keep. I may actually have that one in my bedroom as a, an alternate, uh, I guess, AC if I need to. But uh, once I hook up that mini split, oh my gosh, it's going to be a complete game changer. It already is a game changer. I'll say that. I, was, I slept very comfortable in here last night. I don't have to sleep back out in the pop-up camper anymore. I'm going to start bringing in some more stuff now that I have all the spray foam done. Uh, I'll bring in my mini fridge. I'll bring in my other power bank, which is the Blue Eddy, which powers that one. And then uh, bring in my clothes and stuff. And then I'll be ready to go. I might take a day or so off and then come back in and hit it hard, uh, get ready to uh, start putting some wood on the walls and make this place start to come together. Uh, the kitchen's going to be my, my focal piece, I guess. That's what I want it to look really, really good when you walk in. You'll first see that. Uh, I went to Home Depot and Lowe's. I was pretty much wanting to do uh, some hickory cabinets, but I looked at other ones over there and there were some darker colored ones. And I think it might look really nice. I know I said on my side channel, I was gonna try to go away from doing an all black kitchen, but uh, there was some of the stuff I looked at and like I said, it looked pretty good. Uh, the butcher block countertop still is at the top of my list, uh, but that may change as well. 
Um, I know there were some people that were commenting about appliances, uh, saying to stay away from Samsung appliances. Uh, comment down below what you guys think. Uh, Honestly, I don't really care what type of brand it is as long as it looks nice and it works. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys have. Uh, if you've had any issues with, uh, let's say, Samsung or Whirlpool, whatever else you want. And then uh, same thing with my washer and dryer over here. I want it all to be the same type. And uh, yeah, so give me all's feedback. It'll be greatly appreciated. All right, so once again, in case you are wondering, if you didn't catch on my last video, the total cost of spray foam this building was about three thousand uh, dollars there was some mixed reviews in the comments on the last video saying that was expensive i could have did a lot cheaper with the uh the pink insulation and yes i get that uh i just i wanted to do something different on this house and i i figured that doing the spray foam is gonna be my best bet in my best interest and uh, i'm happy with the way it came out you can probably hear shooting dang back there they're happy with the way it came out as well uh also keep in mind, I do YouTube videos for a living, so I'm filming myself do this, so I'm also getting paid back. Uh, will it cover the entire cost of the spray foam? Probably not, but it will cover a good chunk of it, and uh, I also get a little bit of experience behind it as well. These little birds are happy. Shoot, dang, look at them back there. <laughs> but yeah, just keep that in mind as well. That's the reason why I wanted to, to do this myself as well, get paid back as we go. Uh, obviously the the prices differ on how much I get paid per video just depending on how many views like I mentioned on the side channel uh, how many ads are in there how many ads people are actually watching uh, so I wanted to uh, thank you guys I need to do this more often in my videos thank you for watching thank you for subscribing liking the videos commenting all that stuff helps me out it helps me move my build uh, I don't want anybody thinking that they're not important on my channel. Uh, you guys are just as important watching as anybody that does super chats and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think live chats get a bad rep. Uh, they, people think that that's the only reason people do uh, live chats is just to get the super chats. And honestly, if you go back and look at my last several, uh, I don't make a lot of super chats and I still like doing these uh, live, live chats. It just gets me to be able to talk with you guys, answer questions that you might have and just interact with each other. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't have people in their lives and they say that we help them out makes me feel good uh, I kind of feel that out here a lot of times I'm out here by myself and I'll just jump in live chats and stuff just to uh, I don't know feel included with people and uh, just Make their day and they make my day as well. So I want to say thank you so much for watching all my videos Hope you guys continue to do it if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and then also go subscribe to my side channel It's shed happens with Jared Crocker just a little behind the scenes and just some other random stuff a lot of trips into town and uh, I have some cool videos that I have coming up on that channel as well so anyways once again thank you for watching <sighs> I'm very very excited for my future with this shed house hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one peace